So recently a big rivalry has been brewing between Destiny and The Division and people have been talking a lot. Which one should you play? The Division or Destiny? Which one should you buy? The Division or Destiny? Which one is better? Which one is more fun? Which, well, what's the difference between better and more fun? Uh, I guess you could be a bad game and still be fun. Like look at Modern Warfare 2. That's not the point. So the point is, is I don't understand where that mindset comes from. And it's been this way for a long time. Ever since like Halo and uh, Call of Duty. And even before that, but I'm going to talk about Halo and Call of Duty right now because those are, well, Halo is one of my favorite game. I could care less about Call of Duty. So, when Halo and Call of Duty were out and they were both at their prime, I played both of those games. I didn't choose between them. They were both fun games. So, I, well, I didn't buy them. I was like 12 at the time. I didn't have any money. My brothers bought them. But I still enjoyed playing both of those games. I wasn't a fanboy for either of them. Well, I was a fanboy for Halo. But... I didn't say just because I like Halo, I couldn't like Call of Duty. I played Call of Duty with my friends because they love Call of Duty because they're stupid little kids who love like no scoping. I mean not no scoping people, but quick scoping people, which didn't really take a lot of skill. But then when I was done playing with them, which I enjoyed doing, I played the Halo by myself, which I also enjoyed doing, and I enjoyed climbing the top ranks of Halo, and ended up being a top 1000 Halo player at the age of like 12, I know, it's incredible, that's not the point. The point is, you don't necessarily always have to choose, like why can't you enjoy both Destiny and The Division, because I feel like that's the way both of those games are going to survive, I feel like the best chance those games have at survival, right now the way it's going, is when people aren't playing Destiny when like you've done everything there is to do in Destiny and there is no like ranking system and no hard competitive system in Destiny so when people aren't playing that anymore they can fall back to the division when the division gets all their updates and stuff and when people aren't playing the division anymore and you've done everything there is to do in the division you can go and you can fall back to destiny and play all of their updated content and stuff like that when it comes out the people who are the ones who pick sides in this made up war those are the people who are going to be the most depressed and the most upset because when there's nothing left to do in destiny or there's nothing left to do in the division you're just gonna be sitting there bored out of your mind and at some point you're just gonna fall out of love with that game that you once played for 20 hours straight because you're only going to have that one game to play it's like if you only if you have an album that you like and you only like one song in an album you're gonna hate that album a lot quicker than somebody who likes every single song in that album because you're going to get tired of listening to that one song at some point. The same thing with the Destiny of Division. If you keep playing that game and you only play that game for a long time, at some point you're going to be like, why the heck am I still playing? There's nothing else to do in this game. I have nothing left to do. Whatever I've done with my life, I've just been playing Destiny this whole time. Instead of saying, what have I done with my life? I've been playing Destiny and Division and I haven't gotten any work done. Which one would you rather do? Have only played that one game or have enjoyed two relatively average games? Me personally, I would love to enjoy horrible games. Because, I mean, whether or not a game is bad or good, like I said before, Modern Warfare 2 was not that great of a game, but it was fun as hell. The mechanics in that game were not up to par at all when it came to Halo. But a lot of people did have more fun in Call of Duty than Halo because Call of Duty had stuff like uh, kill streaks and all this other stuff. You could get a nuke, you could get AC-130, you could get a chopper gunner. So although it wasn't that great of a game, it was still fun. And if you can have fun with a bad game, does it matter if the game is bad? No, you're still gonna have, like it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about the game. As long as you're getting your money out of that game, that's all. All that matters like when I was younger I remember I used to love playing uh, this 
Saki wrestling game. It was WrestleMania 20, I think, for that first Xbox. And everybody said it was bad. And it was a sucky wrestling game. I don't even remember why it was bad, but I do know it sucked. But I enjoyed it because I liked wrestling a lot. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about this video and these topics. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace.